Hello everybody, Ryan Dent Gaming here, bringing you another video on Farming Simulator. And today it's going to be a little bit different, it's going to be a tutorial. Um, so, I'm going to be showing you how to do all the tutorials from tutorial 1 to all the way down to tutorial 13. And they'll be broken up into 13 episodes. Um, so, I hope you guys enjoy, please make sure to... Uh, Leave a like on the videos and all that good stuff. Leave a comment on if you want me to do a Let's Play series on whatever map. So, first of all, we're going to start with ploughing. So, if we just load into ploughing, it says enter the tractor and first attach the weight and then the plough. As this plough is rather heavy, the weight makes sure all the tractor's wheels stay firmly on the ground. Unfold and lower the plough, then drive onto the field to start working the soil. If needed, you can turn the plough. Since you have two implements attached, you can switch between them in order to manipulate each. The schematic view of the tractors, the bottom right displays the currently active tool. The display at the top of the screen keeps track of your progress. Once you've reached 100%, the tutorial ends. So it says here, in this series of tutorials, you'll be shown the basics of farming. If you're unsure what to do, you can always review the tutorial briefing text. So we need to... So if we so what you'll do, go out to the tractor and if you press square, you'll enter it. Um, just turn the volume down. It's attaching the weight. To attach it, you need to press X. Move the camera, it's the right analog stick, and to zoom the camera, is the up and down on the d-pad so what we're going to do is we're going to attach the front and then to detach it would be x again to reverse it is l2 so you then and then press x again for the plow to accelerate it is r2 um, now to turn the plow on you need to hold l1 and press 0 and therefore that is now done so now we have to do is you have to press R2 just drive in a fairly straight line which I'm not doing <laughs> and then just have to keep driving forward and as you can see up in the top right hand corner the tutorial bar is going up so to raise it again I'm gonna go actually I'm gonna go into in a square you guys can either go up down round in a circle which is what I do we just got to do it like so and if you if you're going the opposite way around the field which I'll demonstrate now you have to press L1 and 0 to raise the plow again then you have to press L1 and square and what this will do is this will actually turn your plow around so it's facing the other direction and then to lower it, you just have to do L1 and 0 again. Now, with the plough, there is a special option that you can have. Now, I probably won't be able to show you here. Actually, I'll try it. Let's see if it will work. Now, if I press L1 and triangle, as you can see, I can now make everything else a field. And to turn it back off, you just have to press L1 and triangle again. But as you can see, just there, I have now ploughed new field <clears throat> uh, if you're ever going to play multiplayer make sure you don't have these in the world and make sure people can't get hold of them because so many people will grief with them lots of people grief with them so beware everybody with that one um, I mean some people are really nice and well some people aren't I'm here to help so guys if you've got the PS4 and farming simulator just send a friend request to Ryan Dench 57356 and my game attack will be in the link in the description below. Um, so yeah, you just gotta keep going around the tutorial until that bar completely fills up. This should only take five minutes to do. I mean you try I usually I don't use plows. I Unless, and the only time I ever use a plough is when I'm making a bigger field. That's all I use it for. I usually use a cultivator. At the start of it, I use cultivators. And then, once I've finished with a cultivator, uh, like, once I have enough money, I'll buy the seed drill that seeds and cultivates at the same time. So all you have to do is harvest. 
seed, cultivate and seed at the same time, fertilizer, spray, and then yeah, just do it like that, simple. As you can see guys, we're about halfway through, well, we're over halfway through. If you're, if you're new to um, my channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. I do Minecraft videos, racing videos when I get the racing game. Uh, I do a lot of farming videos, like highlights on vehicles and stuff, which actually, there I have done a highlight on this tractor. So make sure to go check out that video. I think it. I think the video is called Tractor Highlights, New Holland or something, something like that. In the lines of tractor. I know it says Tractor Highlights. So make sure to go check out that video. I uh, do a lot of Minecraft videos. I probably do more Minecraft videos at the moment than farming simulator videos. Um, but I will be doing a lot more farming simulator videos, especially when far, um, Farming Simulator 17 comes out definitely get in that game. I love farming simulators. I mean, I used to play farming simulator 13. Now, some of you guys may have played that too. And then I went, came to this game and you could see what had changed. Because when I went back to FS13 again, I, it was like, it was, uh, it was appalling. The way that, the, ha the fact that FS15, I played it for about a year, went back to 13 and it was like, ooh, they are some really bad graphics, and you can see the difference between 13 and 15. Um, and I've watched the E3 trailer, which is also on YouTube, so make sure to go check that out, guys. Um, just put E3 trailer FS17. It is an extremely good um, tutorial. It looks as if it's in real life. So there we go guys, tutorial is complete, that is ploughing off the list. I hope you have enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and if you're new subscribe, please make sure to share my video and guys, I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye guys.